So I think like I'll start that. like this with the mirror. That's me. You're Kim Kardashian West. Okay. Let me go up on the light a little bit. Skin Flush in 2020 and disrupted the market with its approach to shapewear that's inclusive of all sizes and ethnicities. They were made to lift, sculpt, and smooth while being comfortable enough to wear all day long. Personally, I've been a huge fan of Skims ever since they launched. I've gotten face masks, loungewear, I think I got a bodysuit. I'm obsessed with their bras. I actually did a whole try on video, so I'll link that down below. But I've actually never tried their shapewear, and I feel like that's what they're known for, or at least what they really started out with. So today is the day I'm gonna be trying that out. I was gifted all the shapewear you're gonna see in this video today, but they were very, very clear that they wanted to hear my honest thoughts on the collection. So today I'm unleashing the Sagittarius in me, and I'm going to give my brutally honest review of the Seamless Sculpt Collection. Let's get started. My first impression is that the material is very like butter-like almost. And I know Kim Kardashian always says that on her Instagram stories, and I definitely understand what she's talking about. It is definitely taking a lot of effort to get on, but that's the good part because you know that it's going to suck you in. I didn't really think that these would be leggings on me. It looks like they were going to be shorts, but these things really stretched out. One thing I'm noticing is that they have this little adhesive almost thing. It's not sticky, but it's kind of like that material that kind of sticks to your skin for like a second. And so it helps it to not roll down, which is really nice. It is kind of rolling down in the back though, but I think maybe I'm not putting it over my roll back there <laughs> enough. I'll have the name of the shapewear and the color so that you guys can know exactly what I'm trying on, but let's try on the dress now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like my rolls have disappeared pretty much, except for that back fat one. <laughs> To like trying to get it over the roll, but I cannot believe my eyes. And honestly, like the leggings don't even matter because this dress is so long, but look at the difference. I'm kind of shook, like, wow. I honestly don't think you'll catch me leaving my house without my Sphinx on, especially if I'm wearing like a bodycon dress. And I can't tell you how many like random dresses I thought would look good on my figure. And then I tried it on and I'm, just not feeling myself. So I really think these things are gonna help my confidence like just shoot up, honestly. All right, next is a slip dress. And I swear it's like the size of one of my legs. <laughs> but it's okay, we're gonna inch it up slowly but surely. So this looks a little funky over here. I literally thought this slip dress was actually supposed to go over my boobs, but it feels like it's supposed to sit right under my boobs, which is actually kind of cool because then it just like, lifts the girls up a little bit which is you know needed and <laughs> nice um but i do feel like there's just like too many straps up here so i'm gonna have to find a dress that has like thick enough straps to cover this so i can show you guys but i do like this actually better than the pants slash shorts one even though it definitely feels a little bit more restricting i just feel like it sucks me in even better than that one which honestly that one did a really good job so i just feel like if i put on a really tight body con dress this is gonna like make me look snatched i'm gonna go in my closet and try to find a dress with thick straps and we will see what it looks like I got this dress from Princess Polly, but it is a little bit shorter, and this slip dress was like down here originally, but I just found out that you can kind of like inch it up, and it just like goes, and I'm like, what? <laughs> you just put it all the way up there, and then I think it might need to be a little shorter in the back. All right, that should do it, let's see. Even though I bunched it up, it doesn't feel like anything's gonna show, and it doesn't feel like it's gonna slide back down, which is super nice, because I bunched it up all the way to here. So I think that's really cool that I can be like a longer slip dress, or if you need to make it shorter for a specific dress, you can do that too. Um, but I wanted to try to find like clothes that you could actually see, because I know on camera, the black might not show you guys how snatched it makes me look. I'm looking at a mirror over there, and I can tell that it like smooths out so much. This is definitely one of those dresses that I didn't feel the most confident in, but now I'm just like, ooh, okay. <laughs> Honestly, y'all, my butt is super flat. It's like flatter than a pancake, but I'm looking in the mirror and I feel like I see something back there. I feel like this is like lifting my booty in some way, shape or form. I don't even know what's going on, 
but I'm not mad about it. So this is the bodysuit, and as you can see, the boob area is a little bit see-through. I do feel a lot more free in this one, obviously, because my legs aren't restricted, which is awesome, but in the back, I looked at my butt, and I feel like it's back to a pancake butt in this one, and I guess it makes sense because it doesn't have like the leg part. It almost looks like it's pushing down my butt in this bodysuit, but we're gonna try it with the dress on and see what it actually does. Here it is with the dress I picked out. This is another one of those dresses where I was just like, I don't know, I might need to lose a few pounds before I start wearing this dress, but honestly, with this bodysuit on, it definitely smooths everything out, but you know, my first impression was that it kind of makes me look a little bit more boxy, definitely compared to the ones that I tried on earlier. I just feel like they gave me that snatched waist. This bodysuit isn't as tight as the previous ones I tried on, so maybe that's the reason. And I do think that my butt just like doesn't look as good in this one. I was also worried about seeing like a line through the dress, which I don't know if it's just like the material of this dress, if it's like too thin of a dress, but definitely be aware for that if you're buying this bodysuit for a specific dress. Next we're going to try out this shapewear. It's only for the bottom half of my body so let's see what it does. This is what it looks like on and I feel like there's already a rolling issue. It does have like that adhesive thing that I was talking about but it just keeps like rolling down. So let's see what it looks like with the dress over it. It's definitely smoothing out and you can't really see the rolling happening but it honestly doesn't feel that great and I know in the back you could probably see it. You can kind of see it in the back where the rolling situation is happening and then there's also like a panty line with this one but obviously because it's not shorts, you know? To be honest with you guys, I might rank this one last, but we still have one to go, so let's see what that looks like. Really quickly, I wanted to show you guys this sculpting bra that they sent over, and I cannot get enough of Skims bras. My favorite one is the scoop neck bra, which I was wearing at the beginning of this video, I think in the color clay. Their bras are so comfortable. I also have the t-shirt bra, and it is perfect for like the everyday wear, but honestly, my go-to is the scoop neck bra, but this one might come close because in the back, it has like this low back situation. It feels completely normal, but I seriously appreciate that because it's hard to find bras that don't show through your low back top. I honestly wonder how many calories I'm burning right now because, ooh, this is taking a lot of effort. If you have long nails, this might be a little challenging. Not that my nails are super long, but it's just hard to like grab the material and pull it up. And I don't think you'd break it either because it feels really strong, but Honestly, it's just really hard to grab. Oh my goodness. Do you, did you, like this is what I'm talking about. This is what I think when I think shapewear. Like look at this freaking curve. Oh my God, okay. Well, this might be my favorite one, <laughs> even though it probably was the hardest to put on. I put on this play suit and I feel so like secure and like honestly the word I would describe what I feel like right now is confident just because I remember taking a photo in this play suit and covering like my role right here <laughs> and I was just like out and about in public and I just like did not want people to see me in this outfit because I just wanted to Instagram in it like you know, us influencers just doing it for the gram. Um, I got sent this and it was so cute, but again, I just didn't really feel as confident as I thought I would. And I was just like, you know, the good old hand right here pose, which honestly is a great pose. But honestly, with the skin shapewear on, like I feel like I don't have to do that. And that just makes me so confident and like happy. So this is what it looks like. It just really smooths me out. The one thing I will say about this is that I had to kind of bring the like shorts up a little bit and I feel like it's a little bit tight since I had to bring them up. The good news is that it doesn't feel like it's gonna cut off my circulation so I can just, you know, go on with my day and not have to worry about it. But I really do feel snatched in this one especially. So I'm glad we ended with this because this is definitely the winner. And that is a wrap on my brutally honest review of the Seamless Sculpt Collection. I will have all the links down below if you guys are interested in purchasing some of this shapewear. If you guys are interested in seeing more of their bras, I did do a Skims bra try on haul a while ago. So I'll link that below as well. If you're new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.